Hello there. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn one vocal into some sort of crowd. Obviously this isn't going to sound as good as a real crowd, but some of us don't have a crowd to record. So this is a good alternative if you want to try it. So first thing I'm going to do, well, I've got my vocal track, which I'll show you. So uh, let's just play that. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. Yeah, it goes something like that. So I want to try and get some sort of crowd vocal behind it. So the first thing I need to do, I could do, well, it's up to you. You can either get a sample of a crowd. It needs to be like a constant crowd, though. No clapping, otherwise that will ruin it. So you just need a cheering crowd or... You can do what I'm going to do and use a white noise. So you're going to have to generate that, if you want to do that, by adding a software instrument, create. And then over here, we want to change this to the ES2 synthesizer, which is there. And I'm going to turn off the first input I'm going to turn off the second input and on my third one I'm going to click on noise there we go and if you've got a MIDI keyboard you should be able to press that and hear something like that if you haven't got a MIDI keyboard you could go up to your window menu bar and click on show keyboard and then do it that way but I'm going to stick to my MIDI keyboard. So what I want to do now is record this white noise underneath anywhere I want my crowd vocal to be. So let's just quickly record that. So arm it. Off we go. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. 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 Okie doke. Right, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to convert this white noise track into an audio file. Um, just makes it easier to play with. Right, right click, uh, da, 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 exporters, audio, no, bounce in place. Uh, okay, let it do that. There we go, All right, delete the old one. Well, the MIDI file, don't need that anymore. Right then, so we should have, let's just solo it, make sure. There we go, a beautiful white noise. Right then. Oh, and solo. Right, so what we need to do next is click on our white noise track. Let's just name that white noise to make it easier for us to understand. White noise. Right, so I'm going to go into my white noise track and I'm going to click on audio effects. And you've all got this in Logic, so it should be underneath uh, filters. Yeah, filters. Uh, it's called the Evoc 20 track oscillator, so get clicking that. And you'll have this appear right now. Now, what I need to do is change my side chain to my lead vocal that I want the crowd to imitate. So that is audio 15 for me, named chorus. I'm going to click that. Uh, and then you need it to analyze that by clicking this analyze in. Click on the track and change it to side chain. Uh, let's just have a quick listen to that. It's hard to wait for the mid. Right, you can't hear anything because it's too quiet. So I'm going to turn this down, and this basically gets rid of my lead vocal. And if I turn oh, turn this up a little bit, you should be able to hear the cr well, my attempted crowd. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. It's hard to wait for. Right, that sounds so dodgy at the moment because we haven't got enough bands. So let's change the bands to 20. Let's have another listen. Right, what we want to do now is increase this release probably to about 
a hundred. Let's just have a listen. For the midnight sun, it's hard to wait for the midnight sun. One thirty, actually. It's hard to wait for. Yeah, so increase that to one thirty. Um, and now we're starting to get that crowd sound. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. You can increase the stereo sun. width if you're only creating it's a mono track. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. So I'm going to keep that like that. Right, next thing you want to do is go back to your effects and add a tad of reverb onto it. So let's go for some... Let's go for some silver verb. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's go for a preset. Let's try back room. Sounds like a delay. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, also, you could you could add a delay if you want. So let's add a little delay on there. Let's go for stereo delay. Uh, let's have a listen. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. It's hard. Okay. Um. And a nice bit of compression doesn't hurt. Where's it gone? Do 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 do. Logic. Dynamics compressor. Let's try using the logic one. Let's get rid of that. Do do do. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's try it with the lead vocal. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. Okay, so that's your basic idea. Um, what I would say to do is bounce that down um, if you do want to bounce that down you're gonna have to send it to another bus so I'll quickly show you how to do that so uh, yeah so we want to go for, let's send it to a new bus so bus let's go for bus 3 turn it up all the way Where's my bus three? So bus three is here. Um, and I'm going to want to send that. Oh, I need to create a new track, sorry. And then audio. And my input is going to be bus. Is it bus three? I think it's bus three. Yeah, let's go for bus three. Uh, bus. Yeah, bus three. Create, right, and then click record, and let's just record that. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. 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 Okay, dog. Let's have a listen. You notice that I'll, that's clipped quite a bit. I've got all this distortion here. So you want to make sure on your original track, your evoc, if it is clipping, you want to turn the signal down. Uh, I'll leave it for now, though. I'd do it. Right, let's listen to our new recording. Wait for the turn the solos off. Uh. Okay. The midnight sun. It's hard to wait for the midnight sun. Yeah, so that's really distorted. So just make sure on your evoke that signal's turned down. Uh, anyway, what I would advise doing if you want to make that crowd sound bigger and you want a ve a, a more varied range of different v frequencies in the voices. Um, when you do when you're creating that evoc so create create your new one like i've just create your first one like i've just done then you can go back create another one and on the evoc 
For the second time round, um, you can move, mess about with these frequencies where you want them. And you can also mess with the format like that, and that should change. Um, it's hard to wait for it's hard to wait. So it's up to you how high or low you want the crowd. But if you keep building up them layers, it should sound fairly realistic. But like I said, you're never going to match a real crowd. Also try that other way I said, where you can download a uh, an actual crowd sample. That one sounds quite good if you can get a constant crowd sound, but they're quite hard to... Samples like that are quite hard to come across. Anyway, I hope this video has been useful. Uh, if it has, please give me a like, a subscribe, and even a nice comment. Um, thanks for listening. No, thanks for watching. Peace out.